It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you call feeling? How you call feeling? How you call feeling now? Yeah. Well, daylight savings, we've fallen back. And as a result, we should enjoy our sunrises and early mornings while we can, and the weather is palatable, and that's where I find myself now, and why not on this palatable morning with a bit of wind I'm sure you're hearing in the background, enjoy a new cup of coffee. And that's why today I'll be trying out Forecast Coffee Company's Yonder. It's their dark roast, and what drew me to this bag while at Sprouts Market was it said, this coffee fights climate change. I have no idea what that even means. Uh, can a coffee be Greta Thunberg? Well, let's find out. What it says on the bag is this bag is made from plants. Well, that's uh, normal. Uh, trees absorb glorious amounts of greenhouse gases. This is why we partner with farmers who embrace agroforestry. Instead of clear-cutting forests, our farming partners grow their coffee alongside an abundance of native trees and shrubs. Blabbity blabbity, beautiful coffees to make a truly lasting impact. We donate 5% of our profits to organizations that are fighting climate change by replanting forests. So, there you go. You can go to forecastcoffeecompany.com to learn more about agroforestry. So many words on this bag about uh, agroforestry and climate change. Look, the fact remains we do our best to be supportive of these causes, hopefully, if we believe in them. Uh, or we think it's a conspiracy, then I can't help you. But, you know, if you care about this, maybe that is why their marketing goes really at it. They're based in Bellingham, Washington. Again, a spot for coffee in the Pacific Northwest in general for many of the coffee companies we've tried out here. Certified organic, uh, fair trade certified. So all the, the good things uh, that we, we can look for when we look at our coffee distributors and where their sources are. So why not give it a shot? This was uh, fifteen ninety nine for this bag, a dark roast, so why not? I don't really care for the Pittsburgh Steelers colors, ew, but let's go ahead. But nevertheless, I'm now going to drink Pittsburgh Steeler uh, colored-ish kind of uh, mug for this Yonder from Forecast. Okay, so again, looking for a dark roast. I made it a bit stronger as I usually do, and um, I would say yeah, it's a, still a good, smooth cup of dark coffee. I actually do think I, I quite enjoy this black, and um, so I, you're paying for what you get. I think it's really is at that price point. Um, quite good. Uh, again, I, I can be easily entranced by a lower price point on my coffee, but again, if you're looking for something, if you're a little bougie on your coffee and your dark roasts, and also knowing that it is a company that is maybe following your belief structure when it comes to the environment, when it comes to trying to tackle climate, climate change as best as they can, they're still in coffee. Um, so, yeah, organic Arabica coffee, all this jazz that is appealing to a certain demographic out there of coffee drinkers, then go ahead and go for it. Uh, despite uh, their branding and such of color scheme, I don't really care that much about black and yellow. I remember that Wiz Khalifa song. Uh, does Wiz Khalifa drink coffee? I, I don't, I can't imagine. I think he does probably harder stuff. Um... So yeah, I yeah I really do like it. It'll be a good coffee uh, to get through these November mornings. Uh, and so yeah, so to answer the question, how you coffee feeling? Ooh yonder, I see a world. Hopefully less, less uh, warming and all melting. How you call feeling now? Yeah.